Hey guys, Retro here and it's time for another creative alternative. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between games and other artistic media. Because if you look at it, uh, way back cavemen, they're drawing their hands on the walls. What comes out of that is painting and they're also sharing stories uh, at the campfire. And out of that, when the written word comes out, you get literature. So this is a lot about sharing uh, a story or an idea that the author had with everyone else and just like that uh, then theater comes into play and you have people uh, showing the story that was before just written word they show it so you can see it so it's kind of like a combination of them and this really culminates in movies uh, which is uh, a story told and like a painting uh, because you also see exactly the vision that the author director whoever had uh, that wanted to get across. And then, after that, you get video games. And video games, a lot of times, also look like movies, except you are now the an actor. But it depends on how much the game is, uh, as called, on the rails. It's how much you just, how much are you an actor that just follows the script and, yeah, do this and this and this, and then you're gonna see a story. So that's one way to look at it. And then, from another view viewpoint, let's go way back even before cavemen, I mean, you have animals, and what do animals do when they're young? They play, and playing is a way of exploring the world, learning, and play goes on, play is very natural to us, uh, and when you put rules on top of that, when Greek people were running around uh, and they say, well, let's run to that tree over there and let's see who's gonna come first, I mean, you're putting rules on top of play, and that's how you get games, and that's how you get the Olympic games, where all different sorts of men run and try to be the first to the finish line. And that goes on and on. This uh, always appears like we, me and my brother, we were playing that we were having a shop and we made uh, pretend money and traded stuff. And like when you put rules on top of that, you get Monopoly and suddenly you're imagining your uh, hotel monopolist. And uh, other toys like Lego, I mean, they give you they just give you building blocks and you're there to explore the different possibilities, build stuff out, see where it goes. And when we put Lego into the digital world, what you get is Minecraft. Because there's, nobody cares. I mean, you care to some extent about the rules, like you have the enemies, yada, yada, yada. But there's this creative mode where people just, people just go in and play. I mean, literally play in the sense of they're just exploring what can be done uh, and just having fun with it. And I guess this is, uh, this is how, how toys have this very good ability for people to learn. And that's, I think that's the main difference if we look especially at creative games, what they're doing. It's not so much the artist putting a story he wants to tell, like in theater, literature, art, or pictures, or stories, uh, and video games that are a lot more like movies. But in creative games, what you get is the player himself becomes the author because he writes his own stories.